Hello, this is Spellbinder with this article from no other than Mike Adams of Natural News, December 29, 2010. It appears that the bill is a hell of a lot more draconian than I even realized, and I've read over it. They apparently added a couple hundred more pages to it to make sure that it was as control freakish as possible. This is the uh, article. I mean, it just blows my mind. Mike Adams has the report. This is it right here. It's known as the Food Safety Bill invokes Codex Harmonization and grants FDA authority to police food safety of foreign nations. That's right. Control freaks everywhere. It's called the power of the control freaks. And this is what it's about. Kurt Nemo is one that posted it uh, from Natural News. It says, it starts out, of all the talk about S-510, virtually no one has actually read the language in the bill, especially not those lawmakers who voted for it. Apparently not. They don't read the bill. They just pencil whip these things in the law and hope for the best. It's as crazy as it gets. I mean, they just don't, they don't read the bills. And they wonder why we're in such a mess. <laughs> It's no reasoning. We're in a mess because the, they don't read the bills. The more you read this bill, the more surreal it all becomes. For example, did you know there's a global FDA power agenda grab hidden in the Food Safety Modernization Act? Keep reading. I'll quote the text straight out of the bill itself. Section 305 is entitled Building Capacity of the Foreign Governments with Respect to Food Safety and it gives the FDA authority to set up offices in foreign countries and then dictate the food safety plans of foreign governments. It says it specifically on page 217 of the bill. And I'm sure our Congress didn't never read that. That's because there are a bunch of these guys, a bunch of Nazis. That's why they don't read the bills. It is evil. Uh, here's a link for this. Section 308, Foreign Offices of Food and Drug Administration. A. In general, the Secretary shall establish offices of the Food and Drug Administration in foreign countries selected by the Secretary. And then it goes on to say, A. The Secretary shall, no later than two years of the date of enactment of this Act, develop a comprehensive plan to expand the technical, scientific, and regulatory food safety capacity of foreign governments and their respective food industries from which foods are exported to the United States. Huh? The FDA is now going to run food safety programs of foreign governments? Look out, world. I'm from the FDA and I'm here to help. <laughs> That's what they say about the government. They say that, you better run. Homeland Security and the U.S. Treasury is also involved. Of course, the Treasury's got to get involved. The Feds, you know, the, the counterfeiters, they got to be involved in all this. So who is involved in creating this? Believe it or not, the Global Food Safety Plan is to be developed under the consolation of the Department of Homeland Security, as well as the U.S. Treasury, as the bill states. Consolation in developing the plan under section, subsection A. The Secretary shall consult with the Secretary of Agriculture, Secretary of State, Secretary of Treasury, the Secretary of Homeland Security, the United States Trade Representative, and the Secretary of Commerce. Representatives of the food industry and appropriate foreign government officials, non-governmental organizations that represent the interests of consumers and other stakeholders. You no know, faceless bureaucrats. Of course. You can't know who's controlling you. You just gotta feel it. You might reasonably wonder what does the Department of Homeland Security have to do with the FDA's food safety plan or why is the U.S. Treasury involved in the food supply? Learn more about the Federal Reserve and you'll have the answers to these questions. I don't have a space for all the details here, but read Ed Griffin's book and visit the uh, realityzone.com if you really want to know what's behind a lot of this. So... What does this global food safety plan actually entail? 
It's all spelled right out in the language of the law. You can view this yourself. Page 195 of the bill. Text in PDF file at this at GAPO gov. You can go right to their documents themselves and they'll tell you all about how they're destroying your life. This is provisions to secure electronic data sharing. The plan developed under subsection A shall include as appropriate the following. This is so that the FDA can electronically track and monitor food production activities of a foreign nations. That way, if somebody in Spain tries to sell raw almonds to the USA, and the FDA can make sure those almonds get irradiated or fumigated with deadly toxins with chemicals first. Because, you know, raw almonds are so dangerous, they have actually been outlawed in America. That's right, you can't have raw almonds in America without being baked or fumigated with radiation and stuff. This is craziness. Training of foreign governments, food producers of the United States required for safe food. This is designed to shove the FDA's dead food agenda down the throats of other nations. The FDA, you see, believes that the only safe food is dead food. You know, food cooked for hours and hours and hours and sterilized with radiation and stuff. That's why, along with the USDA, they have declared war on raw milk, which is, has all the nutrition and vitamins in it when you drink it raw, but once you boil it, all that turns into putridness. But... Don't tell anyone that. They'll stop drinking milk. Raw almonds and many raw vegetables. Look, Natural News, this article. Now that the now with this law, the FDA will begin pushing its dead food agenda globally. It's essentially exporting the FDA's agenda of death and disease. You know, it's the uh, F Food and Death Administration. That's what they are. That's their real name. They're not the Food and, food and Drug Administration. <laughs> That's just a ploy, a lie. They're really the Food of Death Administration. And their agenda of death and disease by making sure other nations destroy the nutrient qualities of their food supply in the same way the U.S. is doing. It's all great for the global big form of profiteers who need to give out prescriptions for stuff they create. Don't you not know that? They create the diseases and you buy their poisons to treat it. The more disease they can spread around the world, the more money they'll make from selling medications. It's all about the money and nothing about freedom and, and honesty. It has nothing to do with any of that. It has everything to do with control and domination. Control freaks. The Codex Alimentarius is also promoted in the bill. The plan described in this bill continues with the following recommendations of whether how to harmonize requirements under the Codex Armamentarius. This includes so that the FDA will harmonize the U.S. food and dietary supplement industry with global Codex requirements, which outlaw virtually all healthy doses of vitamins and minerals under full Codex. Harmonization America will be left with a dead food supply and the health food stores will be virtually stripped bear of dietary supplement. So in vitamin D, a reasonable dose such as 400 IUs per capsule will be criminalized and will be seized and destroyed by the Food of Death Administration agents who recruit local law enforcement to bring in the firepower. That's right, they piggyback military on their back to take care of you, the citizen. All of this will, of course, ensure a disease nutritionally deficient U.S. population. This actually seems to be the goal of the FDA has been trying to achieve all along because the more diseased the population, the more money gets collected by big pharma for treating sick people with medications and chemotherapy. It's all right in the bill. The text mentioned in this article, taken straight from the bill itself, you can search for it at this Thomas local government. By searching the S510 as the bill number, it makes me wonder why some food book authors so wholeheartedly supported this bill. Why were so many progressives on the left so emerald or emnored? with this law. Didn't they realize this was a huge FDA power expansion that would destroy many small farms and put farmers out of business while subjecting the USA to possible codex harmonization? Did they even know the FDA now on a global food kill 
killing agenda that will seek pasteurized, fumigated, cooked, or kill virtually every piece of food that enters the United States? Did they not know that the bill absolutely does nothing to limit the use of chemical pesticides on imported foods? According to the FDA's stance on all this, food laced with DDT and other pesticides are perfectly safe for human consumption. But foods teeming with probiotics such as raw milk are deadly and dangerous. Seriously, they believe this. They're nuts. They're crazies. But you know how that is. How is it that this popular food book author and the food documentary producers could possibly support this bill? Do they also think that small dairy farmers who sell raw milk should be criminalized? Do they agree with the Codex Harmonization Agenda? Do they think the FDA should run the world's food supply and that the Department of Homeland Security and the U.S. Treasury should be sh shaping our global food safety agenda? You really just have to shake your head and wonder about the true intentions of some people. I just have to ask, where are the supporters of this bill really so naive that they could somehow believe the FDA would actually seek to protect small local farmers, organic farmers? What about raw milk producers? What about the single family unit that must now apply for FDA for exemption status by authoring research reports, collecting tax returns, and producing a power of documentation the FDA will soon require? Let me just say it bluntly, the Food Safety Modernization Act is a destroyer of local organic farming. It will gut small farms and local farms and greatly increase the price of local organic food while well, decreasing food security. Farmer markets will be targeted by the FDA who raid the operations of local farmers and imprison them for not having the right paperwork. Families will be destroyed and those who have been successful at local food production will scale back their operations in a desperate effort to duck under the 500,000 or half million a year rule which can easily be surpassed by producing just 10 acres of organic carrots by the way. The real agenda behind the bill from another point of view, however, this bill is doing exactly what it was supposed to do. Destroy small farms, wipe out family farm operation, imprisoning raw milk producers and centralized food production in the hands of big corporate food producers whose operations are steeped in pesticides and soil deg degradation. This bill should have been called the Big Agricultural Monopoly Act because that's what it does. It will ensure that America's food supply will be controlled by Monsanto, DuPont, and other agricultural giants who have been at odds with small organic farms for years. The global food control agenda is a conspiracy, not a theory. It's all part of global food control agenda. We know it to be 100% true based on the leak of WikiLeaks cables, which revealed that the U.S. government conspired to push GMOs in the U.S and create regulatory target list. Any nation that resists GMOs such as France, read the full report here on Natural News. Thanks to Wikilinks, we now know that the global GMOs conspiracy is quite real. It's something that the U.S. diplomats and government officials scheme on in order to please their corporate masters in the agricultural industry. Now the Food Safety Modernization Act as global conspiracy extends beyond GMOs and compresses the global food supplies too. It has become clear that the U.S. lawmakers and bureaucrats will not stop until they kill the entire global food supply, rendering it living food, raw foods, and dietary supplements illegal or impo impossibly difficult to grow. You can thank the U.S. Congress people and senators or critters for all this. Of course, in the end, every senator in office crave in or cave in and vote to pass this bill. You can also thank those who publicly promoted this bill, even while having no real idea of the horrors they were supporting. Such begins a new era of global food destruction, headed by what can only be called the most dangerous government agency in North America, the U.S. Food and Death Administration. If they do your food, what they have done to prescription drugs, annual food deaths will increase to over 100,000 a year. Agenda 21 is being operation now. Watch the FDA to now set up enforcement offices in nations all over the world and standing out law of living food on a global scale if they can get away with it. Stock up for the holidays. Also, watch the new push for Kodak's harmonization, which is a truly evil agenda to criminalize healing foods and nutritional supplements that prevent even reverse chronic disease. Learn more here.
you can find it all on this website. Until next time, this is Spellbinder saying be good, be good at it, and stop eating the pesticide rat poison they're giving us. Good day.